The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Hi, dear! You want to talk about having a good time in nature? <laughs> oh my god, yes, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. Lean back! Lean back! Every event comes with its set of surprises, and this year was no exception. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Motivational Missionaries Tour of Belize 2015. My dad came out with this goal setting program called Life by Design. Where you are not only going to be able to create nine goals, but 75% of those goals will be achieved and you will walk out of the event after the end of the day with not only your goal set up, the actual steps that you need to take that you believe that's going to make it happen. I kind of have always worked the events for it and I've never actually been into one. They wanted me to go ahead and separate myself from the team to be a part of the actual event so that I can do the goal setting. I felt like it was very necessary so that I was able to keep myself on track when I would come back to Miami. Being here means that you're supporting our tour, that you're supporting the children of Belize who this motivational tour is all about. Which included Benke, Santa Elena, and many other areas, villages within the area. And then yesterday we went north and we did Corozal, Orange Walk, and all the villages, Guinea Grass, and all of them in between. Anyone that has been to a certain level of success, whether it's relationship, family, business, they all know that it all starts with goals. And as we're doing the program, you can see people's lives transforming and the connections that they have with themselves and how much they really end up finding what they're looking for within themselves. This is the time for you to work on you. How many of you guys agree with me? It's such a simple exercise, but it really, really works when you put your heart into it. The goal setting actually helped me organize what I wanted to do when I got back. The second I got back, I ended up getting a job right away. Ended up starting school back again and kind of getting everything back in order. My parents told me they wanted to re retire in a place called Key Cocker. And I didn't understand why until we actually finally went. For those who maybe will, will get sick along the way, want to do the number three, Puke, vomit, <laughs> sit next to our window, my friend, please. Is that okay? First, we left from the Leaf City, and it was like a 45 minute boat ride. Today, we are blessed to have four captains on board, my friends. Four captains, which is Mr. Kevin upstairs, and three persons that you and I will never be able to see, but we will feel them. That's God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is that okay? Let's go! And the entire time, you're trying to sleep, but you're bobbing because of the waves, and it's just intense. No, we're good, thank you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. This is my favorite item. My dad had me stand in the middle of the island and look both sides. You could see water on both sides. And then we finally came around to asking how long the island was, and they told us it was only actually three miles long. There's Starbucks. Now I know I can retire in Keycocker. There's legitimately a Starbucks here. Very small, very secluded island that kind of felt like an actual like movie paradise type feeling. Hey, where's the ocean? After doing our amazing photo shoot, we finally came to the end of the island. Welcome to the split. When we got there, it was just, you heard the music playing, it was all very tropical. Oh, he has his phone in the room. No, 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 no. What do you think about the key? I know. It's like a vacation spot. The guy can go there, right? Can the guy meet us there? I didn't see the series of the guy from Fisher's doing off. Some guy, Nigel. I don't know who he is. I think we found Nigel, guys. You're going to the airport, right? Me? Yeah. No. 
We're all going to Mexico. You're going to Mexico, bro? This entire truck is going to Mexico. Which Mexico? There's only one Mexico, I know. <laughs> I don't know where we got it. Open this door. This is where everybody's at. She's the boss. Hello, welcome. Hi, are you Nigel? Yes, mom. Hello, Nigel. <laughs> um, We're going to Corazon. Yeah. All right. But the two of us need to go. Both of you? Yeah. Oh, we don't fit. Because we decided to fly into Mexico to spend extra time with Maggie, which was also because we wanted to spend extra time with Maggie on the way after the tour, we had to go back to Mexico and we missed the bus that we were supposed to take, which was at an earlier time and was a bit more comfortable. They have Wi Fi in the other one? First class? Yes. Oh, they had Wi Fi in first class? I might be expecting some wildlife on board. <laughs> it's it's nice. I would be no struggle with their condition. I know air conditioning. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is getting better by the second. We finally get on the bus. Alright. We're on the bus to Playa de Carmen. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, we're on the bus to Cancun. <laughs> we got stuck on a really crowded, tiny bus, late at night. And finally, like 10 minutes out, we all, we all end up getting comfortable enough to finally start sleeping. And randomly, we just start stopping at like every two minutes. There was a gap where we didn't stop, and it just got so cold in the, in the bus that you just look around and everybody's kind of huddled up together. And I just remember me and LJ trying to figure out a way to warm each other up, and then like, Switching seats. It was uncomfortable. Came to find a point in time where he remembered he had clothes, clean clothes that he had stored on top of us. So you just see us in the middle of the bus ride, take out a luggage, start taking out clothes, and I, I'm so big I had to use like five of his shirts to cover me. It was just very intense. was an absolute success. What my parents do is very crazy. It's very different. I feel like we connected a lot more with the children and the adults of the country because that's what our passion is. That whole trip kind of showed me how we went there to empower the kids and kind of set them on the right track. With that, not only will you change Belize, but you can change the world. You really want to know what we're going to be doing for next year and what the message is? You just got to be there for 2016. how you can support the motivational missionaries visit our website and connect with us on your favorite social media hi i'm alexa from welcome to the family and don't forget to comment like share oh yeah and subscribe <laughs>